Hi guys, welcome back. In this video, we will be going to Maine. Going to Baxter State Park, hiking Katata and doing some camping, and then also making our way down to Acadia. We originally had the campsite for Friday and Saturday night in Baxter State Park, but there is a tropical storm coming through and some pretty severe wind and rain are going to hit later Saturday and into Sunday. So we decided to scrap camping on Saturday night. It's just not worth it to get all our gear wet. Do a quick walk through the car. Obviously the front seat is installed. So we have a plus one capacity. And then we basically have all of my gear in the back. Backpack, sleeping bag, pad, any other tarps or hammocks we need clothing in this bag, um, including stuff for the hike. This is some external rain layers that's still drying. I just re-waterproofed it, so hopefully that's good. Jackery's down there. Empty cooler, we'll fill it up on the way. Some dry food, granola, cliff bars, and electronics in that bag. All set to go. Everything's packed. We also have the uh, table and tents up in the box. This is about 10 hours later into the trip. We finally arrived at Baxter State Park. We did end up stopping a few times along the way, once in Boston to pick up some extra gear. And we grabbed some lunch in Maine along the way. This is Able Campground, where we had about an hour of light before sunset, so we had to set up shop pretty quickly. We got the campsite. We're all going to bed now. We got one tent, two tents, staying in the hammock setup and here it is can't complain heading off to bed and we will wake up at five pack up shop and try to get on the trail by six of course it's raining but packing up the car got rain layers gonna change into Amex all disassembled. First ten stone. Working on this. Yes, sir. <laughs> Snacking on some bagels, cream cheese. Should be good to go. Just gotta pack the pack. elevations were pretty mellow but as soon as we started venturing into some more exposed terrain the winds picked up and we were basically walking through a cloud by this point most of our gear was soaked through and half our group ended up turning back but three of us continued and we made it to the summit in just under three hours we didn't spend too much time at the summit we knew we had at least 45 minutes until we got to some terrain that was protected from the elements this is two days later, we finally got back to Connecticut. We ended up throwing all of the wet gear just in the box to get it out of the way, but we needed some time to dry it. Luckily we had some good weather. It's crucial to dry your gear out regardless of what it is. Tarps, hammocks, sleeping bags, clothing, backpacks, just to preserve the lifetime of it. Pretty much cleaned out everything on the base level of the car. We used, um, both pots and stove itself got pretty dirty so i'm gonna take all these out go wash them inside we'll come in and do a quick vacuum probably wipe down the surfaces just to do a final clean of the car on the inside and the outside's not looking too bad but while i have a driveway here i think i will do a full wash of the car and also box is empty but we did end up putting trash in here and all the wet gear. So there is a good amount of debris and caked on salt and sand. So I'm gonna remove the box completely and give it a clean. This is the final gear drying. Everything's laid out. I slept in my hammock, so this is the setup bug net, hammock, tarp. All drying out. This is pretty much already dry. All of the simp sacks are drying too. And we're just about to set up the tent to fully dry it because that's probably the, the thing that's the most wet out of all the gear. 
thanks for making it this far. If you liked the video, please drop a like. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, throw them down in the comment section. If you want to see more content like this, subscribe to my channel.